family member of Alma, please come to the front of the stage. And how many people, I'm serious, how many people are here for Alma? Because I know there's this wonderful woman in a ball gown. If you could please just come down to the front so we can get a photo of all of the direct support. Where's the woman in the green ball gown? Oh, she's up there. Okay, fabulous. Okay, great, okay. Fabulous. Maybe more light, Just hit up there a little bit. This is the world premiere of Alma, but we can't say that in the press because then we can't um, submit to other film festivals. But round of applause for the world premiere of Alma. short notice, how were you able to get 30 people to like give their time and effort? Cause like, it's one of those things that's just like, my God, like, dude, you're awesome. Like, that was good, that was great. Thank you, thank you. I moved very quickly and I got an entire crew to get together. Everyone isn't here actually, we're missing a lot of people. Um, and it started to kind of freak Melvin out. Um, at first, right? He, at first he was like, we have a lot going on, we need more people, and then all of a sudden, all these emails were coming through, and he was like, whoa, there's like, this, there's a lot going on. Yeah, we're from like 5 to 30 in like a day. Yeah, <laughs> and I was like, it's gonna be alright, like, everybody knows what they're doing, these are professionals, and we're just gonna make it happen. And it happened really quick, like, I wrote the script in 24 hours, it went from like a 16, uh, a 15 second spot to him saying, oh, maybe it could be like four minutes or maybe five minutes, and then Michael saying, oh, maybe a little bit longer. Do what you want, just write it, and then we'll just have something for the film festivals. And, and I was in the middle of moving. Um, so I, I was just trying to figure out what to do, and I just wrote it and gave it to them. And um, 
started, everything just happened. Like we started getting people in place. I know, uh, luckily, so many um, great actors. There's so much talent in the area. I started reaching out to people and everyone just came on board and were professionals and did their thing. And we put it together really, like it was an overnight. We shot this in one day. Two overnights. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. And then we, we knew we needed more shots because by the time it was seven o'clock in the morning the first night, we were, we were not, our brains were not functioning properly. So we were like, all right, we're probably gonna have to redo a couple of things. We had missed that one shot of Selena originally looking at her hand in the, in the first scene. So we decided to just reshoot that whole first scene because the bedroom that we had initially was really small. So um, Melvin was like, oh, we'll be four hours. And um, <laughs> and it, it was like another like all-nighter. Um, but it wasn't an overnight like we did. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it was great. Everybody did an amazing job. No one complained, I think. Right? Yeah. <laughs> One thing I want to say is I want to give it up to Saulo, uh, the editor of yeah. the film itself. Um, he, like, the, the shot that, the shot that, uh, that the scene that, that she's saying um, actually made it onto the film at the very end. So he did... He was editing while we were filming that. Literally, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, so that was, a, he did a great job considering that. So that's, that's really good. Yeah, I'm sorry. And, um, and he had to edit it really quickly for this festival. So he was editing it, color grading it, adding the sound, doing the music um, while we were filming the final scene. And, and the poster. And, the, and doing the, he did the flyer and the poster. And um, yeah, he, that's why he's not here. He probably doesn't yeah. ever want to see him. But he is amazing. And um, we feel like we'll probably do 